Hey everybody, I'm Joey and today we're raiding the fridge and using leftovers to make some tasty stuffed pepper. So follow me and let's get stuffed. We all occasionally have a very common dilemma. What to do with leftovers? We recently made an eight pound pork shoulder and not even this crew could finish it all. If you're looking for a great way to make pulled pork in the oven, you should check out our recipe. We've included a link in the description below. Next, like Jimmy two times, I gotta get the peppers, get the peppers. I always have a few of these laying around the house and it's a good thing I do. The first thing we're gonna do to make stuffed peppers is we gotta remove the tops, about a quarter of an inch. We're actually gonna save these tops because we're gonna dice them and use them later on in the recipe, but we wanna get that out. Also, just cut away this inside right here. This is where all the seeds are at. We're just gonna go ahead and get that out of there just like that. Real simple, if there's seeds still in there, you can wash it or just bang it up top. Finally, we're gonna go insane in the membrane and go ahead and remove these right here. You can use a spoon, you can use a knife, use whatever works for you. I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of there. As I'm cutting these up, I just wanna share with you, bell peppers are grown by nearly every single country in the world. I think that speaks a lot to their versatility and ease of use. As a matter of fact, all colors of bell peppers are found right here in the United States. There are some subtle differences, but just go ahead and use whatever you have around the house. Now that we've removed the tops, it's time to get them in this boiling water. We're gonna parboil these for about three or four minutes. We want to get them nice and tender, not soggy, nice and tender. We, uh, this is salted water that's clearly boiling, and we're just going to go ahead and make sure they're fully submerged and let them cook, and we'll be right back. All right, these have been cooking now for uh, a little over three minutes, so it's time to get them out. And as you can see, they're really nice and tender. And then we're just gonna set these aside and get started with the next part of the recipe. Some people will throw these in a cold ice bath to get them to stop cooking, but you know, I like them just like this. It's an extra step you can do, but I don't really think it's necessary. All right, now we wanna get the stuffing ready. You can start this process uh, while your peppers are boiling or afterwards, it really doesn't matter. We're just gonna get about a tablespoon of olive oil in there. Next, we're gonna add uh, some onions and the tops from some of those green peppers, all right? I'm not gonna include all the uh, amounts here, but know that we do have them all included via a link in the description below. So just click on that link. It will give you all the steps to follow this recipe as well as specific amounts. So we're just gonna let these cook in here for about three minutes. Let them get nice and soft. Then we're gonna add some other things to it. Let's just go ahead and get this cooking for right now. After you throw these in, just Get a little bit of salt in there and a little bit of pepper. And just stir them up until they're nice and soft. All right, so these have been cooking for a few minutes and we're just gonna go ahead and add in some garlic. Next, we're gonna add in some of this leftover pulled pork. It's already cooked, so it's really just more about heating it up. Here I have uh, about a pound um, you can substitute this with ground beef, that works really well. Um, but you'd wanna use about a pound of uncooked meat. Of course, here at Red Meat Lovers, we always like more meat than less, so don't be afraid to have a little fun with it. So like I said, it's already cooked, we're just gonna get it, let, let it get a little bit warm. All right, now here we have some leftover rice. This is some rice we had with dinner the other night. You can use leftover rice, you can use fresh rice, you can use instant rice, whatever you have, whatever works. We're gonna go ahead there, get that in there, let that get heated up. Just go ahead and mix it up. We got that mixed up, we're gonna add uh, about eight ounces of, I'm gonna use marinara sauce today. You could also use tomato sauce, whatever you have, whatever works. I really like using marinara, so it's close for about eight ounces. This is a 24 ounce bottle, so about a third of the bottle. 
And go ahead and get that in there. Let that get heated up with everything. There we go. Next, just throw in some of this parsley. Let it all come together. Turn down this heat a little bit. Make sure we don't have any burning. If you could smell that at home, this is the smell of Tasty right here. Not only does it sound good, but it smells absolutely tremendous. Okay, now the very last thing I add to this, very end, are some quartered grape tomatoes. I really like grape tomatoes because they hold up really well. I don't want to overcook them though in here because they might get a little bit mushy. So I always wait till the very end. It's just a way to heat them up right before we throw them in the peppers. All right, so now that this is fully heated and seasoned, we're gonna go ahead and get them in the peppers, and then we're gonna get the peppers in the oven, which is already preheated to 350 degrees. All right, these are almost ready to go in the oven, but before I do, I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to the bottom of the pan, about an eighth of an inch. We're gonna let them cook in this oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. We're gonna come back, add some cheese, and they're gonna be done. These are gonna look and taste absolutely amazing. All right, so these have been cooking for 20 minutes. Now we're just gonna remove them and add some cheese to the top and let them cook for about another 10 minutes. Here I have shredded fontina cheese, which I always have around the house because it's so melty and so creamy. It's great, but use whatever you have. I've used cheddar, I've used a couple other things. We're just gonna go ahead and get them, get this cheese right on top and get them back into the oven. Getting them back in the oven is going to allow this cheese to become nice, melty, and creamy and is really gonna add an awesome flavor profile to these peppers. Go ahead and get it on there liberally. And can you really ever have too much cheese? Now back in the oven for another 10 minutes. All right, these peppers took about 30 minutes in the oven, 20 minutes without cheese, another 10 minutes with cheese. And look at all this goodness going on inside here. That looks absolutely tremendous. This is just a simple way to use ingredients that are already in your fridge to make a great meal. We used the leftovers we had, but I encourage you to try your own twist on this recipe. Our motto at Red Meat Lover is cooking meat made easy, and that's just what we strive to show you in every single video. If you like this, please give us a thumbs up like, or even better, subscribe to our channel for future updates. We would love your feedback in the comments below, and we do our very best to respond to as many comments as we can. In closing, I just want to say thanks for checking out our vid, and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Mmm, so good.